Hi guys, I'm in my gym right now. I haven't been in here for like six months because I burnt my gym down, unfortunately. Um, I had two candles and yeah, one thing led to another and I burned it down. Have you helped your sister recover after her almost burning down the gym? <laughs> that happened so long ago. I don't even know. I think it might be fixed now. It happened, yeah, this happened like a couple months ago. But, um, you know, I guess working out and staying healthy is a big part of it. So it just seemed like a relevant time to share information that you hadn't recently, you know, you hadn't shared before, I guess. Yeah, well, it <laughs> resonated with me how my mom's always like, blow those candles out when you leave the room. I was like, okay. Bring we don't like candles in our house because I'm not good with candles. My husband had an incident with a candle in college where it like burnt down his house or something. So literally we just decided like no candles. So I think that we can prevent any future fires. Yeah, I think you need to tell your sister that too. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Right. Thank goodness <laughs> you and your sister are keeping us entertained. You obviously with your tidbits from the show and with the family and some philanthropic things that you're mm -hmm. doing here, which is awesome. But also I gotta ask you, Britt is especially candid on Instagram. Does she run any of her posts by you? Um, no, she just posts what she wants to post. And I think that that's what makes it I think that's what makes it more genuine, you know, like at, at times, um, you know, especially when we're bored, you know, you just kind of post what you feel like posting and, and, uh, you know, it was fun. We've been able to do some good things. You know, we did the do your part challenge, which was really awesome. Me and her and a bunch of other celebrities were able to give back. When this all first went down, nobody really knew, or I mean, we still don't really know what to expect from day to day. So when it first happened, we all kind of thought a week or two was going to be what was, you know, expected. We weren't really sure. But as it got bigger and really blown out of proportion, um, Brittany was like, I want to come home. I don't want to be by myself, you know, out here because all of her family's pretty much here. So she was able to come home for, um, I guess it's like almost two weeks or so. She was here for my birthday and for Ivy's birthday. But then, of course, she, you know, she has her children and all that stuff in her home. So she went back to Los Angeles, I guess, a couple of weeks ago. But again, I think she went back with the intentions of like, this was only gonna be another week or so, and then they added on more time. So we're all just trying to abide by the rules and do what we're supposed to do. And having our family has been the biggest blessing too.